Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you guys a project that I am uh, pretty excited about. I printed up a Fokker. Now, that's not a dirty word. It's a Fokker. Alright, I printed up a Fokker. It's a World War I fighting plane used by the Germans. In fact, um, many of you might know the Fokker as the plane that the Red Baron is snoring. Anyhow, that the Red Baron used <laughs> to fight the war. Um, so, uh, I played a video game called Battlefield 1. And this is a World War II based game. And in this game you get to fly many planes. So, I used to actually like flying with the Fokker. Um, and just shooting down enemy planes and wreaking havoc to infantry in the game. Uh, tons of fun just flying around and I remember thinking, my god, I would love to fly a real plane like this because just the human ingenuity of putting up a plane up in the sky and these are from the first planes that were ever up in the sky. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> really is amazing the human brilliance to build one of those things. <laughs> yeah, so I was uh, actually going online and I wrote the Fokker STL and I found this really, really nice um, uh, STL file, 3D model. Dude, we gotta stop. Gotta stop. Anyhow, I would love to have a 3D model of this locker, so I said, why not print it up? And uh, it was around like a 29 hour print, so it wasn't that long. Um, uh, and I had myself a beautiful pink plane. <laughs> Now I had tons of support material, so I had to get rid of all of that. And here's when things got a bit complicated. I was ripping off the supports and taking it down. And because the Fokker it's held, the wheels on the bottom is, are held um, by little tiny pieces of like literally one, <laughs> one little tiny circle like a dot of the nozzle, those broke immediately off. And then while doing the upper wing, I wasn't very careful, so I broke that off too. I could have been more careful with that to make sure that it doesn't break off, but I wasn't, so yeah. Anywhere where I saw the layers were just weren't printed good, or the support material made it so that was a bit droopy. I went with some sandpaper and I sanded it with a hundred grit and a uh, hundred and sixty grit. Uh, I don't exactly remember. I finished it off with a hundred and sixty grit. The reason I used those was because that was just what my hardware store over here had. It's more of a working hardware store, less of a hobbyist, so the grits aren't very uh, high. So after sanding it, I put on a coat of primer on all of the pieces and after letting the primer dry, I put on another coat of primer um, just, uh, you know, uh, to get all the holes and the layers um, filled in and uh, in hindsight, I, I should have put on more coats of primer, probably two more, just to really get all of the layer lines gone, um, so I should have done that. What I did after that is I glued all the pieces. I tried to glue it with some hot glue, um, but I had a problem with that. So, so the three second glue was just to get the initial stick onto the model, and then I finished off the gluing with epoxy after that dried, just to reinforce it. 
I cut the box and I took it outside with my model and I painted the model with a spray paint. Kept a little bit of a distance from the model. I didn't want any drips from the spray paint to show. Um, so I painted it far away, flipped the model a few times, tried to get every little nookie and crevice, crevice and nookie. Yeah, I tried to get all of those things. Um, so I printed everywhere, uh, printed. I painted everywhere with the red spray paint and uh, I must say the plane was looking so much better that must not be comfortable for his neck. <laughs> He's gonna have neck problems when he wakes up. My neck! I took some acrylic paints and I started painting the model. Starting by painting whites and there was a problem with the white. It just wouldn't stick onto the red spray paint. It would just, I don't, I don't know, it would glub up together and just like not stick. So I decided I'd do really, really thick layers. And this is why I'm not 100% happy with the model. Then I just proceeded with uh, some black and some brown for the propellers and black for the machine guns and for the iron cross. Um, yeah. Listen, doing this project again, I would do things way different. I would uh, make sure it doesn't break. I would make sure, uh, many things I would make sure. Um, <laughs> and I would make sure to get the better acrylic, at least white acrylic. Just something, you know, that would stick better. If you guys have any recommendation for a white that will actually be applied, I'm all ears. Please leave it in the comments section. I'll buy it for my next time. Now for the grand reveal. great time doing this video and making my own Fokker and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Please uh, subscribe if you want to see some future content um, and uh, leave a big like for me, you know, maybe a comment telling me what you guys like to see in the future. I don't know, maybe you guys want to see something else. <laughs> Anyhow, leave a like and I'll see you next time Fokkers. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,